Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai and in this series of Jetpack Compose Zero to Hero Crash Course, today I'm going to talk about the runtime permissions. Well, asking permission in runtime is a very essential feature for all those applications which requires dangerous permissions like camera, location and many more. Because before enabling those functionalities, for example, camera, if your app have a camera functionality, then before enabling camera, you have to ask permission from the user that whether they allow or deny camera access. Just defining in manifest is not going to work from Android Marshmallow and onward. So if you are creating app with Jetpack Compose, then how easy or difficult it is to ask permission in runtime that we'll see in this video. So first switch to build.gradle and add the dependency for accompanies permissions. Using this library, we are going to ask permission in runtime. Let's check this out. So let me delete this composables and create one composable say fancy camera. Now the overall objective is to show how can we ask camera permission here. I'm not going to show how to enable camera functionality that we can see in subsequent videos because to reduce the size of this video and to focus main on how to ask permission, I'm just going to have a dummy composable there with an idea of how to ask permission in runtime. So think of a case that I we have this fancy camera and using this fancy camera, we are first asking the permission to enable camera. If uh, user grant the permission, then we'll enable it. If user deny it, then we are not going to enable camera. So for that, first let's create an object. Well, permission state equals to remember permission state which requires permission and that's the place where we have to define it what sort of permission we are interested in. So here I could say manifest dot permission dot camera. Now one thing to remember here is that with remember permission state we can only ask single permission. For multiple we'll see it soon. Now let's have permission required composable. If you see this permission required composable, then it requires permission state, the object that we have created here. Then what should happen when permission is not granted? Now initially when you run this composable and camera permission is not granted, then it's an obvious case that whatever you specify as a composable for this, that will be shown on UI. So whatever you, which you want to show before user grants permission, like asking for permission grant, that has to be there inside this. Also, if user deny the permission forever, then it will come to permission not available content. That's the place where you can give a message to them that they need to toggle on from the settings. Finally, if user grants a permission, then whatever which you want to show, that composable, you can have it here. Now, in our case, it could be the camera composable. Well, camera composable is not something which we have for now till Jetpack Compose 1.0.2, but we can use camera X using Android View. In the next video, I'll show how you can add camera functionality to your app built with Jetpack Compose. Okay, now let's give this permission state at this place. And also, as I said, when user haven't granted the permission, initially as this composable gets executed, this part will run first. So I'll have a button here with a text enable camera permission 
Now this is just for the demonstration of how to ask permission. In reality what you should do is that you should create a proper UI with a text on top then two buttons one for yes or one for no then the moment they click on yes thereafter you could show them the alert dialog to enable the permission. Okay now let me have this as permission state dot launch permission request. So what it's going to do is as we run this application it will show a button to us a single button with a text written on it enable camera permission. As user clicks on it it will show a alert dialog that alert dialog is asking the permission to enable camera where user could either allow always only one time or deny forever. Then uh, that's the place where I said if user deny the permission forever then you could show an alert to them saying please enable camera functionality from the settings. Also what should happen when user grants the permission? So let me show here camera permission is granted by user. So what should happen here in reality is that because we are talking about camera then as we have the permission for the camera so that's the place where we should run our composable to toggle on camera. So this is just for the demonstration purpose I'm making it very very basic just to make you understand how you can ask permission what should happen when you click allow deny deny forever where it will come when you grant the permission. Okay now let's run and check this out but before that do not forget to add the permission in the manifest too. So we'll say uses permission camera. Okay now let's check this out. Okay so here it is. We have one button which says enable camera permission. Now as I click on this button it will call launch permission request. With that it will show an alert dialog to enable camera permission. So here I'm clicking on this button and you could say this. If I deny and then click once again it will again ask for the permission. Now either I allow one time or allow using this app. Not just this, if I click deny once again then that will act as denied forever. That means now it will come and execute this part. So just for the understanding if you click on deny for the first time again it will come and execute this block which is permission not granted. If you deny two times that means now also if I deny then next time onward it will not come and execute this block rather it will come and execute this block. So it will be treated as user has denied forever. Otherwise I could just click on allow while using or one time. So as I click on allow you could see that this composable got executed and we are seeing camera permission is granted by user. Okay so this was with the single permission. Now how about if you have more than one? Well for that let's see how we can ask more than one permission. So let me create another composable say fancy camera with location where my objective is to ask for the camera and the location permission. So let's create an object once again. I'll say permission state and here I'll say remember multiple permission state. That's the place where we have to give the list of permissions that we are interested in. So I'll say list of manifest dot permission dot camera and also 
manifest dot permission dot access find location so now it will ask for both camera and the location permission now after this we'll say permissions required if you remember then earlier it was permission required now we have permissions required that's the place where you have to give the multiple permission state object so let's give a permission state object the rest of the things is exactly same so we have permissions not granted permissions not available and what should happen if user grant both these permissions so for that let me copy paste the same composables In case user deny the permission forever, then we'll ask user to toggle it on from the settings. And if user enable the permission, then for now, let's say that user has granted permission. So camera and location permission is granted by user. Okay, let's change this to permission state object. This will be launch multiple permission request okay now let's call this composable and also not to forget we have to write it in the manifest too so access find location access course location now let's run this app so here it is we have a button now click on this button will ask for camera and location permission say for example I deny the camera permission initially and I give the location permission now if I click on the button once again it will ask me for the camera permission only because we have already granted the location permission so we are seeing text composable which says camera and location permission is granted by user so that was all about asking permission in runtime it could either be a single permission or multiple permissions where the overall objective of this tutorial was just to show what gets executed at what point of time like permission state permission not granted permission not available and when permission is granted by user now in the next video we'll see the application of this by enabling the camera functionality in our application using camera x so that's it for this video if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel so as to get the videos on the latest topics of android kotlin and firebase thank you and stay tuned